Welcome to today's coffee break. Today we're going to discuss posting into a closed year, um, how to do it and basically what happens. So it's not uncommon for you to close the year and then months later get notification from your accountant that you need to post entries into a closed year to make corrections. So that scenario happens all the time. It's fine. NAV can handle it. And uh, let me just show you what that looks like. So in departments, I'm just going to go to my financial management and I want to show you that the year is indeed closed. So I go to periodic activities, fiscal year, counting periods, and we've closed 2017. And now we get the notification that we need to make an adjusting entry or a correction to that closed year. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna go to the general journal and I'll change the date to whatever has been indicated by my accountant. And I'm gonna move $100 out of entertainment and put it into postage. There we go. I can mark this as a correction and put a comment, book to wrong account, or whatever is meaningful to you. So now that that's completed, I go ahead and I post this. And let's go ahead and take a look at the chart of accounts. And let's look at, we'll go ahead and look at the entertainment account. And I'm going to drill into the account balance here. Um, and I can see that if I sort by my entry number, this really pops out at you. So the entry number gets assigned by the system automatically. You have no control over that. And it's, it's a sequential number. So what happens is if you sort by entry number, you'll see this posting date really looks out of place, right? So it really pops out at you. So that's a little tip there for finding these, uh, these entries that were posted to a prior period. The other thing that you can do, I'm sorry, into a prior year, is you can actually filter on prior year entry. So when an entry has been posted into a closed year, it gets flagged as a prior year entry automatically. So all I need to do is select yes, and I will see any entries that were posted into the prior year. All right, so it narrows it down. Now, the only thing that you need to remember is that while it does allow you to do this, you still need to perform a year end close again because these entries are in the income statement and we need to close the income statement because they are now not part of the retained earnings, right? And what will happen is because they have not been closed, they're gonna pop up next year when you do your year-end close, and we don't want that to happen. So if you post into a closed year, you just wanna make sure that you run the year-end close process again. So let's go do that. Periodic activities, fiscal year, close income statement. And we're closing into 17. My journal is the general journal. It's gonna to go to my default batch. And here's the document number, that's fine. That's my retained earnings account. This is all straightforward stuff. I go ahead and click okay. And it creates the entries for me. I'm just gonna go check them and post them. So I go back to the general ledger, general journals. And here we go. There's my correction. And you see now the posting date has a C in front of it because these are closing transactions. So I will go ahead and post these. Great. And now what happens is when I run my financials, these numbers have been included in um, the retained earnings account, the accounts are correct now, and next year when I do my year-end close, these will be ignored because they've already been closed out. So that's what happens when you post into a closed year, it's fine. Um, the really trickiest, the <laughs> most difficult part is remembering to go ahead and perform that little mini close again, just to, uh, to finalize those entries. That's it. That concludes today's coffee break. I'm posting into a closed year. Thanks for watching this Archer Point video. If you found it helpful, make sure to check out our website and blog at www.archerpoint.com. Additionally, if you have any questions regarding our products, services, or information in this video, feel free to email us at info at archerpoint.com. Thanks.